Hey everyone, so today we are out at our property. I say property, it's our property with our new house on it. So if you were just following along, we are in the process of putting a double wide manufactured home on our five acres of land and we are getting so close. There's so many, you know, things that are still, that still have to happen, but so many things that have already happened and we are just so excited. So one of the big things with doing like a manufactured home is there's no garage and we need storage in our lives. We are a big family. We have 11 kids and you know, that just comes with a lot of stuff. So we had racked our brains and just trying to think of a storage solution with not having a garage. And then Patio Well reached out to me and sent us a shed. And y'all, I am so excited about this metal shed. It is a 10 by 12 shed. Nathan and s several of the kids have been in the process of putting this together. So I'm gonna share all that with you now. Uh, we are here, we got a shed from patio well and uh, we are going to try to put it together and show you how it goes so. This patio well shed came in four boxes. They did have to open up all the boxes in order to have all the pieces out to get started. I hope that makes sense. Um, it also came with gloves to help assemble it. This is a metal shed, so the edges you know, could potentially cut you. And the fact that gloves are included is a nice bonus. The directions recommended having two people to assemble this shed. I would honestly recommend having three we obviously had three people putting this together and Peyton and Jackson are both well versed in putting things together and they felt like it was more helpful to have that third person there. This is a 10 by 12 shed. It is the biggest shed that Patio Well offers and you do have to come up with a floor base for it. And we chose to do this the most affordable that we could think of and we had gathered some pallets and then purchased plywood to lay down on and it ended up working out really well. You can see those metal poles on the bottom that is the base of the shed and so they were able to screw that directly into the plywood so that it could be anchored down well in order to keep this shed as secure as possible. Here they are getting the side walls put up. Patio Well also has plastic sheds. Their plastic sheds come with a lifetime warranty. And then for anybody who happens to purchase under my code that I will have for you in the description box below, if you use that code and get a metal shed, they will extend that lifetime warranty to the metal shed. There is also a coupon code in the description box below that you can use on your purchase of a new shed. Patio Well also offers deck boxes of all sizes. All right, we got one wall up, but somehow we goofed it up. Um, Perfect. Bye I think bye. the tops are shifted to the left, so when we get this last panel on, there's a gap here, but it's fine at the bottom because the bottom has holes. The top didn't have pilot holes, so I'm trying to fix that and make sure it matches, and then going from there, we got the other side that we still have to do. So we are rocking and rolling. We got the frame up basically. So we're continuing on. I do have to mention that this shed did take longer to assemble than what we thought that it would. It took them about three trips in order to get this put together.
It's now the third day of this project build and all that they had left to do was one side of the roof and the doors. I wanna show y'all in this clip how each metal piece is labeled. They each had a number and a letter. And then here is the inside of the instruction manual. All the pieces, washers and screws came with the metal shed kit. Here I am standing in the shed just to kind of give y'all an idea of the height of it. I'm 5'3". I've got a tape measure on my side and everything just to make it look like I did some of the work around here. So I want to make a special notice to how the doors are actually on hinges on both sides. So this door, you know, they will both close. And then this one, the wind's going to close this one on me. So the left one will lock into place into this hole down here. The wind is not helping me out. There we go. So, you know, we think of the old school metal sheds and how the doors actually slid. And they eventually, you know, they just didn't last all that long, those doors. So this will lock. And then these doors will last so much longer with them being on hinges. This shed is a 10 by 12. It is a very good size. I'm so excited about the storage space that we are gonna have. I left this table in here for reference. So we use this to hold tools and stuff while putting it together. Um, but I left this just to kind of give reference for size to show y'all, you know, how big we are gonna be able to fit so much stuff in here. And I am so excited about that. There's ventilation vents up there. <sighs> There's also a place that you can add a lock if you would like. Shed is complete. Excited about all the possibilities. <laughs> so this is our first project to do at our new home. Which will help us have space to do all the rest of the projects that we want to get done. That shed is going to help us out so much. We are so excited about it. So y'all, I am vlogging from our property our house, property, shed. Oh my goodness, it's just feeling so real now. So I'm trying to remember, I had shared, we had bush hogged about half of the property was all that we were able to get done at that point. And we just got enough done for them to basically bring in the house and some sections. Well, yesterday, oh y'all, we are so blessed. I'm so thankful. Some friends of ours brought their tractor out here, bush hogged the rest of the property for us. And it is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm gonna take y'all around because it just feels more real now that you can see the whole thing. <laughs> oh, this has been on my mind. I've been wanting to get it done. And then our next step is we're gonna buy a lawnmower here very, very soon. Cause you know, we got to maintain this, but that's been one thing. It's like, well, where do we keep the lawnmower now that we have the shed? And like, we're getting there, you know, it's a process. Like we got to take, you know, these little steps. Um, well, you're just so excited. I'm on the back part of our property. They're working on the shed. House is there. There's this cluster of oak trees that I love. There's actually several clusters of oak trees that are just pretty. There's Camden just trampsing around on the property. And that's exactly what we wanted land for was for our kids to have the freedom of just a childhood of being able to run around and roam and we want to have you know animals future plans um garden spaces everything and this area is so much smoother now looks amazing it looks so much better it is obviously a very big area they brought in a lot of dirt 
and my mind is definitely made up. So I'm to the left of the house. I'm gonna put my garden out here. I think that'll be really pretty. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> I think there's a moment of silence. You hear the birds? Shed's done. <laughs> Peyton, Jackson, and Nathan put this together. Peyton and Jackson really like assembling things and putting things together. Um, and they were a great help to Nathan putting that together. They did such a good job. <laughs> we did the measurements that we needed to get done in the house, cleaning up um, after ourselves. And now we're gonna head for some ice cream because after doing any project out in the heat, it's always nice to end it with getting ice cream. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us as we worked on our first big project at our new home that we will be moving in so soon. And thank you, Patio Well, for sending us this 10 by 12 shed. We are so grateful. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.